by far the best investment you can make is in yourself. I mean, that, for example, communication skills. I tell the students that come that uh, they're going to graduate schools and business and they, they're learning all these complicated formulas and all that. If they just learn to communicate better, in, both in writing and in person, they increase their value at least 50%. Warren, how would you define true success? Well, I've, I've said many times that, that, that if you get to be 65 or 70 and later, and, and the people that you want to have love you actually do love you, you're a success. I've never seen anybody that reaches that age. I mean, I'm not talking about somebody that's in extreme poverty or pain or something, but I've never seen anybody that, if they have a lot of people that, that love them, that is other than happy, and I've seen some very, very wealthy people that they give testimonial dinners to and name schools after and everything. They're, nobody, nobody loves them. You know. Say three pieces of advice you would give to people who are looking to succeed in business. Well, I, it, it, by far the best investment you can make is in yourself. I mean, uh, for example, communication skills. I tell the students that come that uh, they're going to graduate schools and business and they, they're learning all these complicated formulas and all that. If they just learn to communicate better, in, both in writing and in person, they increase their value at least 50%. That's relatively easy. I did it myself with the Dale Carnegie course. Some people wish I'd taken a shorter course now <laughs> in terms of my talking later on. But it, it, it's just hugely important. And you, if you invest in yourself, nobody can take it away from you. The second thing, which I'll get a certain criticism for not living it, but, but I do tell the those students, you know, that if I gave you a car and it'd be the only car you get in the rest of your life, you, you'd take care of it like you can't believe. Any scratch you'd fix that moment, you'd read the owner's manual, you'd keep a garage and do all these things. And you get exactly one mind and one and one body in this world. And and you can't start taking care of it when you're fifty. By that time you'll have rusted out if you haven't done anything. So you you should you should really make sure that you just remember that you've just got one mind and body to get through life with and to do the most with it. What about life advice? It's really who you associate with. You want to associate with people that are better than you are. I mean, basically, you'll go in the direction of the people that you associate with. And, and you want to have the right heroes. Uh, you want people, if you want to emulate somebody, you better pick very carefully who you want to emulate. And, uh, and when, obviously, you can't pick your parents, who you, uh, who you admire, who you, who, you, who you want to copy. And the most important for most people in terms of that decision is their spouse. It's also important in terms of a partner in business, but the partner in life is, is, is the most important one. You, you want to pick a spouse that's a little bit better than you are. The biggest mistakes people make when investing? Well, they, they, they try to, they, they, they just don't realize that all you have to do is just buy a cross section of America and they never listen to people like me or read the papers or do anything subsequently. Uh, it, uh, they, think, they think that because you can trade, you should trade. They, you buy a farm, you buy an apartment house, you can't resell it tomorrow and you know, the cost of moving around. Or you, now you get something handed to you, liquidity, you know, which is instant. You can sell and the, the cost of doing it are pennies you know, compared to other kinds of investment activity. So because they can so easily move around, they do move around. And, Moving around is not smarter than investing. You have a pretty cool uh, morning routine regarding what you have for breakfast and how prosperous you feel. What is that? I eat exactly what I like to eat. If, if I liked it on my sixth birthday, at my sixth birthday party when we had hot dogs and hamburgers and Coke and ice cream with chocolate, I still like it. And I don't care about anything subsequently. That <laughs> I discovered it all by the time I was six. At, if, if somebody had offered me a deal when I was 20 and said, you're going to live one year longer, you know, instead of living to 88, you'll live to 89 or whatever it may be, if you eat nothing but broccoli and Brussels sprouts and onions and all these things, you know, I, I just said, I'll, you know, take the last year off. It probably won't be that good anyway, you know. I mean, so I, uh, I eat what I like to eat. I, I, <laughs> um, is business school worth it? Depends on the person, but, uh, much more than it depends on the school. I mean, I, I wouldn't worry. Some people are going to get a lot out of advanced education, and some people are going to get uh, very little. And uh, I, I don't even think it's important that every person go to college at all. I mean, uh, we have all kinds of jobs at 70 or so thousand a year, 80,000 a year that 
college training is, is, is not of use. And, and I, I actually was not keen on going to college, but because uh, I, I just, I, I was, I, I, I knew I could have a good time and I, I liked investing and I didn't really feel, I, I, I could read the books. Uh, uh, so I don't, you know, it's, it's a big commitment to take four years and the, the cost involved and maybe the loans involved and everything. And I think depending on what your interests are in life, uh, I, I, don't th I don't think it's for everybody. I think it's for a lot of people. Uh, but there ought to be a reason you're going. And I didn't really see much reason.